Jammer, uh, as Yaroslav comes in. So we can see on the screen right there, 5'9", weighing at 89 kilos. Uh, 69 kilos, sorry. And thanks to 9 that he's put on a fair amount since yesterday. Um, this guy is his third professional fight. Uh, came off of two losses, uh, most recent of which was over in 2018. He's a big guy for his weight, let's be honest. The 69 kilos, he's looking quite... Yeah, he's tall, he's tough. well built, I mean... At least with the shirt on, he's well built. <laughs> That's what I can see right now. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is from Sweden! Lawrence! So again, like many fighters here in Malta, uh, Swedish heritage, now fighting out of the Maltese boxing uh, Yes, he just came to Malta, uh, he had his first fight in Malta, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the 31st of July, uh, here at Monte Cristo. Uh, he did a good fight, I was a uh, respect and I said for the time, he, we were going to spy one day, but he didn't say, he didn't say, I don't know what happened to him, but he just did it again. He's a good fighter. Uh, it's always nice to have a record with you. So is being led in by one of his very close friends there, a uh, British rapper. So, and you'll see, as we mentioned repeatedly, a lot of these Maltese fighters share the same coach, the same share kind of boxing rings. Uh, so, in there with Clarence right now, we've got a friend up, who is in effectively Team Elstead, but fights out of a full fitness training camp, as well as a few others over here as well. Certainly got the ability to do so, so yes. see if it's if it actualizes. <laughs> Both fights are looking in good condition coming into this. So Clarence shut down Guyarum. Hear the crowd getting behind him already before the before the starting this uh, seventh um, sorry sixth and final fight of the night. My mass night is incredibly poor. <laughs> Second round! Round one! He looks hungry to fight. He does. Clarence looks. Here we go. He, he does have a very relaxed style to him. Um, you see the shoulders, he keeps them nice and low. Doesn't really tense up too much. As we said earlier, uh, being the South is a huge thing. Exactly. Especially when you know how to use it. For you. It's not about being the South it's about be knowing the advantages of, of, of being the South One of the major, major advantages is obviously your jab is going up against their jab, so you can keep at a longer distance already. Um, but again, you need, to, you need to then be able to come around the side and force them to have to change their game plan to fit yours. So. Uh, a southpaw advantage is exactly the is exactly the advantage of the north box. Just of course change the head. Yeah. But uh, the only advantage that uh, a southpaw got is that 
he has the experience with sparring and fighting with orthodox men. Hey, uh, orthodox don't. You know, they are used to spar and fight more with Salpo. They're, of course, the every fighter is, uh, is an orthodox. So. Yeah. <laughs> so again, Clarence is very fast when it comes to just powering up for that jab. Even with the counter shots, he's very across the body. Of that left cross to the body is something that he does like to use a lot and again he's very fast at getting into place for it. Yaroslav on the other side again very high guard not throwing a massive amount of uh, punches but almost seems to be again just sussing out what Clarence is about sussing out where he can find these kind of weaknesses uh, right now Clarence is not really showing too much at all uh, in terms of in terms of a way through for Yaroslav. Change of pace in the, the fights that we've seen so far. It's all about looking for that opening. He does have a, an immense amount of confidence, which is not a bad thing. Uh, Clarence, at, at amateur, uh, took on over 187 fights, so he's very, very used to this kind of atmosphere. He knows his body very well, he knows what to do inside the ring. Um, I met him for the first time, I believe it was around three or four months ago. Um, and we were, we were around at a friend's place, Clarence happened to be there, and he was talking to me about his, his kind of amateur career, telling me about how much he wants to start boxing again over here, and who he needs to speak to. Uh, literally spoke to him, spoke to Demis Tonner, mentioned we do have a, a new fight on the island, he's very keen to get involved, take a look at him. Here we are a couple of months later, he's now in his second fight under the same promotion team. Well, it's his second fight in a month. Yeah. Second fight within, ago. yeah. Two months or so. Exactly. That's what he should do. Uh, he's young, I mean, in my opinion, uh, for example, for me, I, I know I'm young, so I have to take opportunities and take fights as, as much as I can. And that's what he's doing, uh, at least from for now, and uh, that's good. That's very good. There, there can become a time where you're fighting a bit too regularly, but most of these fighters do stay in um, sorry, they do stay in shape, they do stay in the, the conditioning all year round, so they are ready to go at like a moment's notice. Um, and again, in Malta, where this sport has become a lot more popular in recent years, so that was a very quick exchange, <laughs> uh, where the sport has become a lot, pop a lot more popular, there's a lot more opportunities for these guys. So it's great to have these, these touring uh, boxing groups as well, just the Bulgarian chats we've had tonight over here in Malta. Look, uh, as you see, uh, good cross, good cross, is it? Very nice from, from nice. Clarence there. Clarence has called shoot down nice. for this exact reason. Good look, nice. Yeah, but he's set the competition uh, there. That, I... I would say that's a bit early. No, that's a bit early. Uh, in yeah. my opinion, that was early. <laughs> if he should have to give me a final elbow, that was stopping. Definitely not to stop it. Yaroslav was not uh, defending himself there, but he didn't look like he was in too much uh, trouble. We we'll see the replay here. Clarence was landing them very heavily. Um, but again, the referee is the one that makes these decisions. Both of them seem, seem to be in quite jovial spirits towards the end. 
But it wasn't the stomach, I think. I think that could have carried on for a little bit. Um, but again, the referees obviously need to take into account the health and, and safety of these boxers. I mean, he's responsible for the health and safety, but he's also responsible for the for the result. Exactly. But then there's also the fact that this is Clarence that we're talking about. Clarence, nickname Shutdown. Okay. He would have carried on with that onslaught yes. had the referee not and stopped him. Stop. So, yeah. That's Clarence. I mean, that's what that's what he wants to do. That's what that, we would have liked to see. That's what his opponent wanted. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure he didn't want to stop right now. I'm <laughs> sure. Yeah. So again, ring announcing the, the referee will just make this official. It would have needed to uh, to an yeah. uh, It wasn't an early stuff. That's the thing. I I'm the similar kind of thought. I I personally would have seen that with Clarence carrying that on and a, a full knockdown taking place. Referee obviously stopped it early. Yeah. Again, Clarence is happy. Again, a win is a win on these guys' cards. Uh, it still counts. So, still better than the previous fight, though. Let's be honest. With you. Exactly. Fox is just having a chat with the referee. Uh, interestingly, maybe to do with the fact that he felt it a little bit early, but. Referee just explains, and it was about the guard. Um, he wasn't protecting himself from Clarence, so that's why the referee stopped him. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner by a technical knockout in the second round after one minute and 26 seconds. Clarence! I feel sorry for for his opponent. Uh, honestly, uh, he deserved a little bit more time. Hmm? He, deserved, that's... he deserved more time. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I I personally would have liked to have seen a, a bit more time there, like about a referee. Um, but. Again, the end result would have been the same by the looks of it. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, as a, a fighter myself, I would prefer to be taken like a man, and I want my opponent to 